right? Let's talk about the, uh, the sun's core, where the actual fusion happens. That is 15, 000, 000, 000 degrees Celsius, 15 million degrees Celsius. Now, it makes sense that the, the core of the sun is 15 million degrees because that's where the fusion is happening. That is how the sun achieves nuclear fusion. The, the sun is so massive, and it's actually a pretty small star as stars go, but compared to Earth, it's, ve it's very massive. It is such gravity that the gravity is just pushing in on everything there. And the uh, plasma that is in the core of the sun is a mixture of all kinds of, of ions and electrons, but just consider it to be protons and electrons. The pressure is uh, pushing on this stuff. And so, see, every time you have a proton colliding with another proton, they're two positive charges and they want to repel each other. Well, the gravity of the sun will take two protons. I'll just draw another one here. Here's another proton. Let's say that it's going this way, right? Well, it's going to collide. Well, the gravity of the sun can push these things together and overcome the electric repulsion between them. You see, the, uh, it's a common misconception, but the electrical forces of repulsion and attraction are millions and millions and millions of times more uh, or stronger than gravity. We think of gravity as being strong, but gravity is actually the weakest force in nature. The electromagnetic force, the electric repulsion and attraction is millions of times stronger than gravity. So to take two protons, which are both positive, and push them together and get them to overcome their repulsive nature and to fuse into another nucleus and release energy in the process takes a tremendous amount of gravitational force to overcome that. That's why we don't see stars the size of our moon. You have to have very large objects to have enough gravity to squeeze these things together and make them fuse. That's kind of a lecture for another day, but interesting nonetheless. So 15 million degrees, that's why. That's why you have so much temperature there, because the gravity is pushing on everything and causing everything to move so fast. The high-speed collisions that are happening there are overcoming the repulsion of the protons to fuse and form helium nuclei and so on. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.